So I bought this bear trap at a flea market a few years ago, I'd say, at least, at least probably two, three years ago. And there's parts missing to it. It's illegal to use them, but it's a cool wall hanger and a cool conversation piece. So I always wanted to fix it up. Now today I'll give it a shot and see what I could do. So if you guys don't know this, what you're looking at right now is a standard trap pretty much for... I mean, you could use this for anything like squirrels or probably like small minks and stuff like that. Well, minks you need boxes for and such, but you get the idea for small rodents. In comparison here, here's my hand. And then this here is a bear trap. So if I just put these here like this, bear trap probably weighs around, I don't know, like 25 pounds with the parts missing. So. What I'll try to, to do now will be to make a pallet out of something like this. Make a little pallet, which is a detent. And I need the crossbar that attaches the, the detent lever. I have the big chain for it and everything. That's just in the house downstairs. But yeah, this thing is massive and it's not a mass produced one. This is a very old one that somebody had made, uh, I don't know, maybe like early 1900s, I'd say. But, uh, yeah, well maybe probably a little, a little younger than that, since there's weld marks and stuff on it, and bolts. But this is pretty old. It was all painted and ugly when I got it. So I kind of just put some paint remover on there and made it all rusty just so it looks a bit better. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I have some parts that I think I'll be able to make, but other parts I'll, I'll have to look at pictures and stuff to, to get an idea. So there's the picture I'll be using. This one is actually a, a Duke one. There's the mass produced one. But now I have my material for the, the, the detent, the pallet. I have the crossbar here. I need to, to roll it up there and make like an L shape out of it. I might have this little the detent uh, latch here, the lever. But now my issue is how am I going to make... That uh, doesn't want to focus at all. But just this little part here, like how am I going to attach the pallet to the flat bar? I just, I mean I need to have like two eyelets that I kind of need to weld on there. I'm going to try doing this without firing up the forge because I know that would just take a super long time. I have a big blowtorch and a, a small map gas or propane torch that I'll try to use. But as for materials, like I said, zoom out here. That's going to be my crossbar. This is an old piece of a snowblower, I think. I'll make my pallet out of that. And then that could be my... This is an end of a rasp and I'll try to smash that out and make a, the, what's it called? The, the detent lever out of it. So, I mean this, get a rough idea. Kinda go like this, and the pallet's gonna be over here. But then how am I gonna attach the, these two things here? Attach the, the, the pallet itself to the trap. Uh, let's see how that's going to go. I decided to just start small for the hole because I need to drill it in the center to bolt it on the trap itself. So 
notice how I'm not on a on my drill press or anything. I just want to see how this goes. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. This is pretty soft steel, I think. Definitely need a bigger hole than that. We'll get a bigger drill bit. Good lord. Yeah. The one in the trap is, is bigger than this. I don't know what this one is. What is it? 364. So uh, now for the crossbar, that's pretty much going to happen here. I have to make this into a point because for some reason they're all pointy on one side, the short side is pointy. Then here on this side, I'll have to probably bend it upwards from there and then make a hole somehow in here so I could fit in the pin. Uh, so yeah, I'll see. I'll see how that's going to work. But for now, I'm just going to focus here. We can see the edges is rough here. I cut up the grinder before, so I'll try to buff it out, smooth it out, just so I get a, a nice, even edge on there. I don't have any cool sanders or anything, so I'm using a master scrap uh, sander. Well, let's get started here, if it works. That's a lot better than it was before, but you're focusing on, a, on the sander now, but anyways, it's better than it was before. Uh, there you go. It's flush. I think the, the, the wheel on these things, on the little sanders, uh, this thing is like 2000, I think, RPM or something like that, and this is like 500 or something, so this is pretty slow and, and weak, and this is just fast and weak, so whichever. Whichever one you prefer. Now second step is to bend this thing back. My only issue is that this thing is some serious, like, larger than a quarter inch steel. I have no idea how to heat this thing up. I don't even know, I have a big burner. I don't even know if that's going to do it because I don't have a forge or any like fire bricks to make a little pit or anything. Okay, so I've been at it now for like 5-10 minutes now and uh, nothing's happening. So yeah, there's not enough heat concentration in an area to make it red. So hopefully I could just stick it in a vise and beat the crap out of it. And hopefully it'll it'll bend over. But I doubt it. I, I don't think it's going to happen. And it's worth a try. Yep, so no way this is going to happen. I'll try, I'll try, but... Things are messing here. Nope. That's not working. Uh, try 
this. Oh my god, no way. Nope, I'm going to break the vise. Well, uh, I have no idea how to how to bend this, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure it away. I'll give it a quick cut with the grinder and go like a quarter way through the material and just see if that helps. But then again, I'm not sure that's even gonna do anything. No way that's going. Uh, stuck it in the other way, now I'm trying, but this thing just doesn't want to go anywhere. I'll try to even put a pipe in, in the pipe wrench. Let's see how that goes. No, oh, it's going. I don't know if the, the workbench is going to come with it or... Yeah, that steel is just... Crackling away. Man, I just have to find a way to. Oh, this thing's still, oh, still hot. Ow, fuck. Ah, <sighs> oh, man. Trial and error. Now I just need to. Make the holes in the top for the pallet, which I don't know how that's going to work. Kind of stupid. I should have just did it when the bar was straight. And now I'll try to do it like this. I did the hole now on top for the lever detent there for the trap. Now I kind of just need to make it a bit wider <sighs> well one drill bit down not bad thank god they're cheap okay so uh, camera died I let it charge for like an hour now I'm I just slapped it back in the camera but I kept going and uh, so far that's that's like I did the whole, like you guys saw before when the camera died, I bent the plate. Now, I, oh Jesus Christ, zoomed in. I did the, the, the trigger mechanism there, just the, the plate here. You know, as you can see, I, I'm quite the welder. I mean, I, pretty, pretty amazing welds there. Thank God it's not focusing, it's pathetic. There, look at that. Oh my. I have no idea how to work too well there, but I'm going to buff it out. You know, I'm just going to. Ow. It's going gonna, it's gonna to look a lot look a lot better. I hope. Probably not. But then I still need to, like, weld the nut on here and do what has to be done still. Well, this is going to be a rough version. I'll probably make another. Like, another version of this video after. But now I just. I want to get this done, see how the prototype looks. Okay, so now I'll need to cut the the, the lever detent. Uh, I don't know how thick I'll want this. Probably, I don't know. Whatever will fit in the hole, I'll probably have to modify it after anyways. But here goes nothing anyways. Final product. I have to make the hole longer and wider because the flap doesn't want to fit in it. So that's all I attempt to do here. Battery's dying, of course. 
It's a new battery installed. Keep going. Okay, so now it's, I mean, I got it as best I can. It's not perfect, but like I said, it's like a rough prototype. I need to curl this, this end piece here, around here. So, take the blowtorch out and some long nose pliers and attempt to do that. Okay, so, time to heat the lever up here a bit. Okay, so I did some stuff off camera. I didn't show this there, but I had to cut down, well, not cut down, I just cut a whole new piece of this trigger trigger lever because the new one, which is still hot, was way too short. I mean, it's, I don't know, that one was probably like four inches. This one's six, seven. It's way longer, I needed it to to be able to move really around here and just the simple loop on this one was just not long enough so uh improvise and adapt i guess you know i have to figure out a way to i'm in front of the camera but i have to figure out a way to get this thing now to to slip from out of here or, or something i don't know we'll, we'll see what happens Okay, so I'll get this done in one day. Uh, I think now I'll, I'll have to round out this nut. Weld this onto here so it's round and I put two other nuts here on each side. This thing's hot. So that I'll have to put it at a good distance so that when this thing hits, it has a chance of slipping out. But then again, I don't, I don't know how that's gonna work, but I'll, I'll see. I'll attempt to make it work. Now I'm going to weld the two pivots together. Oh, I should the two hinges. As you can see here, I just I haven't buffed it out yet or anything. My great welding job. That's a plate in the trigger. Then this is going to like this here. I'm going to have to adjust it after, but I mean, you get the point. It's going to be like this. Then that's going to drop and that's going to take off. Uh, and I'll hold it all together with uh, some type of bolt. Well, that's where I'm at right now. I got a design flaw here, I didn't really think of it, but I, when I was on the bench it wasn't assembled, I mean this, ow, this looked like a good idea, but in reality I need something that's going to hold it here, like a little, like a v-notch like the real traps have, so that when it drops, it's going to get out of the way, so that's what I'll need to manufacture now. Just finished welding this piece on. Now I have to make the V-notch in it and see how it goes. It's pretty much the most crucial part. Even if it's gonna be a wall hanger, I kind of want it to look cool and functional. Plus I'll have to buff out all those great welds I did. I don't know how long this video is gonna be or what's, if I'll even post it, but it's 9 p.m. Like, I, I thought I could be a, this could be a little fun project. It actually took me like, I don't know, it's been like five, six hours that I'm in here now. But I had to rethink the whole process. If I zoom in here a little bit, you'll see. A trap's supposed to, when it, this lever goes down and there's pressure on it from the jaws that's supposed to hold this up. But that wasn't working because Commercial traps are perfectly balanced and the pallet weighs less than, uh, than, than, than the lever and it's all like perfectly balanced. But I had no idea about that. Now this thing's still really hot, but 
As you can see here, now this works the way I did it. It's gonna be tension, and then the trap goes off. Anyways, it took me like, I don't even know, hours and hours just of failure and failure. Now I finally got it. Now I need to just buff it up, get those ugly welds out of there as best as I can, and then go inside and take a nap. I know I missed a few step guys, but it's about 9.30, 10 o'clock and I'm, I'm super tired, but I finally finished it. I know this is a wall hanger, but I kind of wanted it to, to work, but I don't, there's no way for me to try it out. Me and my dad tried to crank the springs down on this thing. We were one on each spring and we just couldn't even compress them. So yeah, here's some shots of the mechanism here. I kind of want it to work even though it's a wall hanger. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you use these things, you I think you go to jail or you're getting like your whole house, your vehicle, everything is getting seeds. So definitely not going to be using this, but still looks pretty cool. I only need now the the black parts to rust. Just leave it outside or put like some like rust blooming on them or something. But yeah, still looks pretty cool. I, I bit off a bit more than I could chew, but I finally got it done at the end of the day. Doesn't look too bad, I guess, for a, a homemade bear trap. Yeah. Thanks for, for watching this, if this video ever goes up.